They say the moon is our closest neighbor, a silent companion orbiting Earth for billions of years. But what if that silence is hiding something? Because there's a place on the moon that no human eye has ever truly seen. A place forever turned away from us. The far side, the dark side. For as long as humans have looked up at the night sky, we've seen the same familiar face of the moon staring back. The same craters, the same patterns, never changing, never rotating to show its other half. That's not a coincidence. The moon is tidally locked to Earth, meaning one side is always facing us, while the other remains in permanent secrecy. And for thousands of years, that unseen side became a canvas for human imagination. Ancient civilizations called it the realm of spirits. Writers called it the land of eternal night. And scientists, well, they could only guess what it looked like. Then in 1959, the Soviet probe Luna 3 drifted over the moon's horizon and captured the first blurry photos of its hidden face. The world waited, and what it revealed didn't look like the moon we knew. The near side, our side, is covered in smooth, dark plains called Maria, formed by ancient volcanic eruptions. But the far side, it was chaos. Craters stacked over craters, rugged mountains, no calm seas, no smoothness. It looked like it had been punished. Even the Soviets were stunned. Two sides of the same world, yet one looked peaceful, the other scarred by violence. Why? Why does the far side of the moon look like it endured an ancient war, one that no one remembers? When Luna 3's photos were released to the world, scientists didn't just see terrain. They saw a mystery that didn't make sense. The contrast was too extreme. One hemisphere, calm and filled with lava plains. The other, violent, fractured, and ancient beyond measure. At first, geologists thought maybe the far side was simply older, that it had been bombarded by asteroids long before the near side cooled down. But the dating didn't add up. Both sides were roughly the same age. Then came another theory, that the far side was protected from volcanic activity. On the near side, molten rock had once burst through the crust, flooding craters and creating those dark plains we see from Earth. But on the far side, that never happened. It stayed solid, untouched, almost frozen in time. Still, there was something else about the far side that no one could explain. In the 1960s, NASA's orbiters began mapping the moon in greater detail. They found that the far side's crust was thicker, nearly twice as thick in some places, as if something had pressed against it from the outside. But what could have done that? Some scientists suggested a cosmic impact, that billions of years ago, another smaller moon collided with ours, merging unevenly and leaving one side swollen with rock and debris. They called it the two-moon hypothesis. It sounded insane, but it explained the imbalance almost perfectly. Still, not everyone was convinced. Some believed something else had shaped the moon's face, something artificial. Because as the data came in, a strange pattern appeared. Several of the far side's deepest craters were almost perfectly circular, unnaturally precise for random asteroid strikes. And deep within those craters, radar signals bounce back weaker than expected, as if they were being absorbed by something beneath the surface. NASA said it was just differences in material density, but others weren't so sure. For the first time, people began to wonder, what if the far side isn't just geologically different? What if it's hiding something? As lunar missions continued, the far side revealed more questions than answers. When Apollo astronauts placed seismic sensors on the moon, something strange happened. They recorded vibrations that didn't fade the way they should. When meteorites struck, the moon rang, like a bell. It was subtle, but undeniable. The signal echoed for minutes, almost as if the moon were hollow. NASA dismissed the idea, of course. They said the moon's crust and mantle simply reflected seismic waves differently from Earth's. But for decades, the phrase, the moon rang like a bell, haunted the public imagination. Then came the Lunar Prospector mission in 1998. It detected unusual concentrations of certain elements, titanium, thorium, and uranium, deep beneath the surface. 
heavy metals that shouldn't naturally occur in such high amounts, especially not on a small, geologically dead world. Even more bizarre, these materials seem to form geometric patterns, ridges and clusters arranged in almost symmetrical lines beneath the far side's crust. It didn't make sense. Nature doesn't build symmetry at that scale, and yet every scan confirmed it. Some researchers suggested that these were remnants of massive lava tubes or ancient magnetic fields. But others saw something else. Structure. As if the far side concealed the remains of something colossal, buried deep under dust and stone. In 2019, when China's Chang'e 4 mission successfully landed on the far side, the first in human history, the mystery deepened even more. Their instruments detected a dense, metallic anomaly hundreds of kilometers wide beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest impact craters in the solar system. Whatever it was, it was heavy. Too heavy. One scientist described it as a mass of metal larger than anything we've ever found on the moon. They speculated it might be the remains of an asteroid's core buried beneath the surface, but not everyone agreed because the readings were too precise, too uniform, almost engineered. If it wasn't an asteroid, then what exactly was it? Whatever it is, it lies silent under kilometers of lunar dust, on the side of the moon humanity was never meant to see. Not long after humans first set foot on the moon, whispers began. Strange radio drops, unexplained silences, Moments that NASA's official transcripts couldn't account for. During Apollo 11, as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended toward the lunar surface, the live feed suddenly went quiet for exactly two minutes. NASA claimed it was a simple, technical glitch. But according to some insiders, that wasn't the full story. They say the astronauts switched to a private communication channel, one not broadcast to the public. And in that brief window, Armstrong allegedly described something unbelievable hovering nearby. They're here, watching us, one supposed transcript reads. NASA never confirmed it, but the story spread like wildfire. Was it pure myth? Maybe, or maybe it was something we were never meant to hear. Even later missions like Apollo 15 and 17 reported unexplained lights and flashes on the horizon. Brief glimmers that appeared to move. NASA blamed cosmic rays hitting the astronauts' retinas, but the men who saw them weren't so sure. One described a glowing object pacing the command module for several minutes before vanishing. Then there's the mystery of NASA's missing tapes. More than 700 boxes of original Apollo mission footage and telemetry data. Gone, erased, reused, or lost in storage, according to the agency. The excuse sounded simple, too simple. It's one thing to misplace a few reels. It's another to lose the raw recordings of mankind's greatest achievement. Some believe those tapes contain the truth. Unfiltered audio from the lunar surface. Conversations that never made it to public archives. Others think it wasn't about UFOs at all, but about something else the astronauts might have found. Structures, ruins, maybe even machinery buried in shadow. Because the closer we looked, the more the moon seemed to look back. Cameras glitched, signals dropped, and every image of the far side came back just slightly incomplete. Whatever the truth was, one thing became clear. The moon wasn't just a rock in the sky, it was a secret. A secret that didn't want to be seen. And if mysteries like this fascinate you, you'll want to stick with us. Now we're jumping back right to the video. Decades passed. NASA moved on. The moon became old news, but other nations were watching. In 2019, China's Chang'e 4 mission became the first spacecraft in history to land on the far side of the moon. The side we were never meant to see. It touched down inside the von Karman crater, in a region so isolated that direct radio contact with Earth was impossible. To communicate, they had to place a satellite in lunar orbit, a literal mirror floating behind the moon. And when Chang'e 4 began transmitting data, the world held its breath. The images were surreal, a barren, jagged landscape, more alien than anyone expected. The soil was different, 
The composition, strange. Some of it even contained rare minerals never found on the near side. But what caught scientists off guard wasn't what they expected to find. It was what they didn't. A faint signal. Low frequency radio noise. Something humming beneath the surface. Like an echo trapped underground. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter later picked up the same anomaly in multiple scans. A massive metallic mass buried deep beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin. It's about five times larger than Hawaii and denser than any known lunar rock. Scientists say it could be a giant asteroid core, the remnant of an ancient impact. But others believe it's something manufactured, a structure, a relic. Because if the moon was formed from Earth's debris billions of years ago, how did a metallic anomaly that massive survive untouched, hidden in shadow all this time? Even today, high-resolution images from NASA and China are noticeably limited in that area. Pixels blur, details vanish, and people can't help but wonder, are we looking at the limit of our technology or the edge of permission? Meanwhile, new radar studies hint at tunnels beneath the surface. Vast lava tubes that could stretch for miles, wide enough to fit entire cities. NASA proposes they could one day house human bases, but some claim they already do. The moon's far side may not just be a graveyard of craters, it could be a vault, a record of something ancient, metallic, and waiting. And every new probe that lands there seems to dig a little closer to whatever is beneath that silence. Maybe the far side of the moon was never meant to frighten us. Maybe it was meant to humble us. Because every time we uncover one mystery, ten more appear. And each discovery seems to whisper the same message. You still don't understand where you live. For centuries the moon has been a mirror, not just of sunlight, but of ourselves. Our need to explore, our fear of the unknown, our obsession with what lies just out of sight. We've sent probes, rockets, and satellites, all trying to see the unseen. Yet somehow the closer we get, the less we seem to know. That hidden face, scarred, uneven, and mysterious, it reflects something ancient inside us. That part of the human spirit that hungers for the forbidden, that looks into the dark, not to escape it, but to understand it. Some scientists say the moon's asymmetry is natural, a relic of how it formed billions of years ago. Others believe there's more to it, something artificial, something not yet meant for human eyes. But whether it's cosmic coincidence or design, one truth remains. The moon is half light, half shadow, just like us. And maybe that's the real secret, that the universe hides its answers in plain sight, but only gives them to those willing to keep asking. Because behind every shadow, there's a reason it exists. And sometimes the darkness isn't hiding the truth. Sometimes it is the truth. We used to dream of reaching the moon. Now we dream of understanding it. And when we finally walk beneath that silence again, we may discover that what we feared all along wasn't the darkness itself, but the answers hiding inside it. So what's the truth behind the dark side of the moon? The answer, surprisingly, isn't supernatural. It's physics. The moon doesn't spin freely. It's tidally locked, meaning one face always points toward Earth. The dark side isn't dark at all. It sees sunlight, just not from us. Its strange, cratered surface isn't proof of alien secrets or ancient ruins. It's a record of billions of years of cosmic violence impacts that shaped one half of the moon more brutally than the other. That's the truth science gives us. And yet, something about that endless hidden face still feels off. We've mapped it, scanned it, landed on it, but somehow it never feels fully known. Maybe it's because the greatest mystery isn't what's on the far side of the moon, but what's beyond it. If one world can hide half of itself forever, how many others are hiding even more? You've just watched one of the world's greatest natural mysteries unfold. If you'd like to explore more stories like this one, check out the next documentary here.